Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to more Stormworks today. We are back and we are going to be doing a tutorial for you today. Uh, a lot of you guys were upset about the last Hydrofoil video. You guys were expecting some more details on that and I can agree. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial today. Uh, I'm showing you guys how to Hydrofoil or at least how to get started with Hydrofoils. And yeah, hopefully this video helps you out and hopefully you guys can get some Hydrofoils on the, uh, out on the water and you guys can make your boats go really fast. So yeah, let's jump into the workbench and let's start, uh, let's start working this out. All right, so for a hydrofoil, obviously the first thing we're gonna need we're gonna need is a boat. So let's uh, let's get ourselves a boat here. All right, here we go. Now we have a boat. So let's go ahead and let's uh, I guess let's start making this thing hydrofoil. So first, let's see if this thing floats. Uh, this will be the first test. Um, perfect, we float. All right, good enough for me. All right, so in order to do hydrofoil, we're gonna need uh, first we're gonna need some speed. Uh, so let's come in here. We're gonna need to add a motor to this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the fluid jet and this is gonna allow us to get the speed that we need for our boat to get up and on foils uh, so we're gonna need this somewhere back here preferably in line with like kind of the bottom of the boat here so we're gonna need to take some of this out here let's uh gotta remember which way this goes here I think like this I think the bottom section here this should be the water input no that is RPS okay so let's flip this around so I think it's like that and we could probably move this in a little bit so let's move this in a little bit just so it doesn't stick out the back a whole lot let's see how many blocks is this long one two three seven okay we could probably come in seven on this as well so we got one two three four five six seven okay we'll build our wall for that to stick onto control click to copy that and then we can put this in its place there we go just like that that's perfect and that'll be nice and tucked in there all right i like that and then we've got our water here Cool, and then from there, the foils can kind of come straight down off of that. Nice, all right, this works. All right, so this is our RPS here. So we're gonna fill in all this. We need this to be watertight, so all this is gonna be closed off. So what I'll do is I'll just build like a little hump over this little thing, and that should enclose this, like that, perfect. And then we'll get some pipes. We'll just angle this up, and then we'll angle it back. Uh, let's see. We're gonna use just an. We're gonna use an electric motor for this today. So let's grab the motor. Let's spell motor. I think we can get away with the mediums on this. Uh, if not, we can always upgrade it. But this is just so we can get through this and get this done. And you can use any engines that you want with this, as long as you provide enough RPS for this unit here. All right. So that's up on that second platform there. So let's go back to pipes. Go straight up and then straight back from here, and then we'll elbow it. Perfect, and then we can uh, we can delete one of these and put a gearbox here in case we in case we need it. There we go. All right, don't think we'll need it, but now we've got it. All right, perfect. Now we've got to go from here. Let's go back to our pipes. We want an angle piece, so we'll angle this down. Then we'll grab our straights, and we'll go straight down. And this is how we'll be able to suck water up. We're gonna be sucking the water up through our rear foils, and that's how the water can get up to this to be able to uh, eject out the back here. Uh, now, as far as how far down you want these to go, you generally, you just want enough to get up off the water. Uh, so if you have enough space to maybe leave like three blocks here uh, off the water, you should be good. So if this is water level and everything below this is water, you will do pretty good. Now, if the waves pick up, you'll start uh, you'll start hitting the bottom of the waves and you might lose, you might lose being up on foil. Um, that's okay, you can always come down a little further. But the further these are down, you will be sitting up super high and you run the risk of rolling over more when you are turning. Um, so speaking of that, speaking of roll, this is what we're gonna do. Our roll is gonna be on the back here. Uh, we are gonna come off the side of the boat just a little bit here and that should be okay. So let's get our rudders. Okay, and we're just gonna place them for now. I know they're all backwards, uh, so we're just gonna do this just to see how many I can get across here. Okay, and I can get one in the center, which we won't need, and we probably won't even need that one. So, like an airplane, we're gonna have roll, we're gonna have pitch, but it's all gonna be a little backwards. Uh, so our roll is gonna be here at the back, and our pitch is gonna be at the front. So what's gonna happen is as uh, we start to rise up, the pitch will rise us up and keep us level here this is going to keep us from that rolling side to side uh pitch is not controlled in the back on a boat it's controlled in the front it's kind of like the jets that are kind of reversed the, the more delta shapes uh they have the pitch at the front and the roll is more towards the back tips uh so that's kind of what we're doing here anyway let's uh let's keep working on this uh we've got our roll here so let's go up front and let's find a nice little spot we'll kind of come back a little bit maybe somewhere in here 
Uh, and we want to see how far, I kind of want to keep these guys close to even, okay, so we can go right there, and then we'll just pull some out like that. Now the front does not need to have a wide stance, we can actually probably bring it back to about here. Uh, this is just there to get us up out of the water, uh, so we can go rudders, and let's see, positive should be, if I go, I can't remember right now, so we're just going to place it and we'll find out here once our, uh, once we start hooking some stuff up, we'll know what's what. All right, so for this, uh, there's two ways we can go about doing this. We can use a fluid meter or we can use an altimeter. Now the fluid meter, as you're riding along the way, if, if it's flat water, you're not gonna have any problem. It's just gonna read that in and out of the water and it's gonna be giving a one and a, ne uh, one and a negative one, allowing these fins to go up and down. But if we have waves, it's gonna allow it to go up and over the waves before it breaches. Now, if we use an altimeter, it's gonna stay straight. So even if there are waves, this thing is gonna stay super, super level. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do here today, but you can have the option of doing both. Um, and it, it, they work They work, They work. work different. It just depends on what you're looking for in your hydrofoil. Um, now, hydrofoils in the past I've done, altimeter works great. Others, altimeter doesn't work great. I have to use a fluid meter. So this is gonna be one of those things that you're gonna have to try out and test yourself. So yeah, that's just one of those things. Now, this is our water. This is gonna be below the water here. So we wanna make sure that our water line is somewhere up in here. So what we'll do is we'll just delete this block here. I'm gonna get my altimeter. We're just gonna place this right here. So what's happening here is this is our water line. Imagine this red line is our water line. And right now the altimeter is above the water. So it's getting a plus one. So the plus one will provide an angle for these, allowing this to drop down. And then actually I think these are right. So these will tilt up and will actually drive the boat down. And then once it's below the water line, it gets a negative signal, which then changes these, which then comes back up. So you end up with this almost, if you're not careful, it will porpoise. Uh, you'll start doing some dolphin tricks, uh, but you can kind of fine tune this a little bit. Uh, so as far as the back goes, we're gonna need a gyro. We're just gonna place this in our boat right here somewhere. And we're gonna take the roll off of this and we're just gonna go to these guys right here. Perfect. Uh, now we need a helm or a seat. Uh, let's go for a helm. I like the helms. Uh, we just want to have this. Uh, sure, right there is fine. And first test, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the roll. I'm gonna hook it up real quick. I want to see which way's which. All right, so we got on the water here. Let's see. All right, so I'm giving right roll. So our left side is wrong. Easy way to test that. All right, so we're just gonna come in here. Let's take this. We'll copy these. Let's cut them. Flip them, paste them, merge them. All right, there we go. We're, we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, so now I've got to provide some power to this thing. So let's get ourselves a throttle and we'll place that down right here on the floor. Sure, why not? Is it the right way? It is. Uh, we'll hook that up to this guy here. Uh, I'm gonna need a microcontroller to control these. So let me grab that really quick. All right, I've got my controller to control my fins here. Let's see, I wanna make sure that B is on the left, okay. We got deflector B, got deflector A. I don't need vertical trim and I don't need any of these because yeah, we're not doing all that. All right, so throttle lever goes to here and then throttle comes out. Nope, side tilt, blue jet RPS, front tilt. Okay, so I will need a uh, RPS meter on here. Easy enough. We'll just put a torque meter in here and then we can read the RPS off of that. There we go, uh, and we should be good there. Everything else is uh, hunky-dory. Uh, let's see, we want the gyro to be on all the time. So I'm just gonna constant on this. We constant on our gyro. We'll use infinite electric for the testing of this, but I think we are ready to go here. Let's uh, let's put this in the water, okay? So far so good. Let's jump, and we made it. Whoa, whoa, what was that bounce? Hey, okay, that's new, all right. Grab the helm. All right, we should be good here. Uh, I'm still connected to the gyro with the roll. I don't want that. I just need the boat to be doing it itself. We gotta remember to disconnect that. Let's spawn it back in. We won't jump this time because we don't like that bounce. And let's give it some throttle. Okay, throttle did not work. Why? All right, everything's getting power. I'm not sure why the jet is not jetting. All right, let's figure this out. Something here is wrong. And I'm not sure what's going on here. It's Getting, did I put it on the wrong side? No, it's getting RPS. I did forget to hook up the steering to it. That shouldn't be a thing though. Ah, oh, okay, you know what, it helps. It helps to put a port on the bottom of this. Uh, that might be where we're struggling here. All right, let's try that. Let's actually get some water into the system. 
Maybe that'll help. All right, let's give it some throttle. All right, yes, we are moving. Cool. All right, so now, now that we're moving, it seems like we actually have roll stabilization, but I did not hook up the front section here. Let's do that. Let's hook that up. Now we're going to hook our altitude up to these fins. Let's spawn it in one more time. Let's give it a little bit of throttle. And you can see, whoop, we're already up on foils. All right, so now here's where the testing goes. Ooh, we are super slidey. Uh, this is where your testing would come in uh, as you're as you're uh, you're adding weight to your boat. You want to make sure that you're uh, you're not rolling over. But yeah, we are already hydrofoiling, as you can see. Boom, just like that. And we're hauling butt too. Uh, I don't know how much we got on speed sensor. We can uh, we can crank this up though. Let's go ahead and force it to go as fast as it can. We got the little bit of wobbles, but that's understandable. You can tune the gyro just a little bit to uh, reduce. What is all that? Okay, we've lost a helicopter out there. Uh, but we're going pretty fast and as you can see it's just pretty simple so what i'll do is i'll leave uh i'll leave links down for the fluid jet controller uh so you guys can use that everything else uh you've pretty much got what you need in the toolbox here uh it's just an altitude sensor a gyro and then your fluid jets uh you can pretty much add this to any boat that you want and actually get this to work now as you can see we are a little wobbly here and i'm trying to let's see if i can get it to roll over i don't think it's going to happen but if it were to roll over, so yep, yep, there we go, right there. Uh, one of the things that we could do is spread out the roll on the back, uh, move them out a little further, and that would help prevent some of that uh, rollover. So as you start building taller bridges and things like that, mast, whatever, on your boat, it's going to get a lot more top heavy. So the roll is going to be fighting a lot more. So if you start, if it just keeps rolling over, just keep adding more, uh, more fins on the back, more stronger stuff. Uh, so yeah, there you go, guys. There is a hydrofoil tutorial for you. I hope you learned something from this today. I hope you uh, hope you get out there and build some uh, really cool boats with this. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will, okay, yep, there's the roll. Uh, we, can, we can slow that down a little bit. We don't need all that power. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, and we will see you guys in the next one.